in high school, instruments came to my school, and I wanted to play the drums like every other kid there. And by the time I got up to the door where they was issuing out instruments, guess what I got? <laughs> I got what they call a mellophone. <laughs> a mellophone. Now, mellophone, the only function of a mellophone in a band is like, it band says, dop, up, 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 dop, 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 deep, dop, 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 dop. That's a mellophone, okay? And, um, and I don't like the shape of it. I didn't like the shape of it. But, but I wanted something to play because my stepfather played the guitar and he was kind of a blues guy, okay? So, make a long story short, uh, I'm one day in this room with this mellophone and my teacher has been angry for weeks at me and the guy across the hall, okay? The guy across the hall, his name is Henry. And the guy in the other room, name is Leo. So the guy comes into my room and he looks at me and he says, um, you go over there. Tell Henry to come over here. And I get ready to go with my horn. He said, put the horn down. I put the horn down. I went over and said, Henry, he said, come over there and lead the horn. That's how I got the trumpet. <laughs> That's how I got the trumpet. And, and when I got the trumpet, Immediately, immediately, I knew that I had found or picked up the right something. Okay, I knew it immediately. Because within, what, uh, three weeks, I started composing. Yeah, within three weeks. My first piece was a piece of four trumpets, three trumpets. Yeah, yeah. Is this in Mississippi or? This is in Mississippi. Leland, yeah. But if you know Leland or you know Mississippi or you know the Delta, art is a prominent quality there, you see. Um, art is used for everything. I used, to, I used to get hired all the time, well not all the time, but fairly regular during, a, let's say, a good season to um, go to this man's house or this woman's house if they're going to move in they would come and say, um, you know, can, can you come and blow the ghosts out of my house? <laughs> yeah, so I would start on the, on the first, the front steps, they go up to the porch, I would start playing, and I'd walk all the way through the house, most of the houses were shotgun houses, so you could see from one end to the end, and I walk straight on through playing, and they give me $5, <laughs> you know? So, so Mississippi is like that, you know, um, People paint rocks and they paint bottles and they put stuff in the trees and they do all kinds of artistic things. You know, my mother did the same thing. She was artistic. She made a lot of art objects, plastic, anything, quilts, all kinds of stuff. So, but I studied, um, I studied a lot like Annette Coleman did. I bought books and I found out what was in them, and I moved on to the next, okay? And then when I went in the Army, I would go to this thing that they call the Army School of Music, and what I learned there was what I already learned in the books. And then I went to a couple other things, like a conservatory here and there, you know, but really, when I, when I did that, I was already making art. I went to Sherwood School of Music in Chicago. The only reason I went there because when I go to audition for the, for the union, and in Chicago you know that the union is controlled by you know, a group of really good guys and bad guys, as they say. Well, there was an old guy there during my audition that was just, he's a bookkeeper. And when I started playing, he kind of set up and he turned around, one of those little cheers that rolled, he turned around and started looking at me. And so I finished my audition, and of course I'm in a union because I can play music, okay? But he says, uh, come here. So I go over to him, he says, um, uh, would you like to go to school? Well, hell, I don't have nothing else to do. I said, yeah, you know, send me to school. 
So he gave me this information, and he called Sherwood School of Music and said, this guy, you should audition. They auditioned me, they gave me a scholarship. I, I went to school there, you know. I went to school there during the daytime, and then in the afternoon, I took the Dan Ryan or whatever that road was to the south side, to the ACM. Yeah. So that's kind of where the schooling is. I mean, you know, I was already making art before I did all these things with school. Because I started playing when I was 13. On my birthday, in fact. Okay. And I played in what they call juke joints and, and um, uh, bars and cafes, you know. I did it five nights a week at the age of 13. Popular music? Huh? Popular music? I uh, just, we call it music. It was blues, blues, uh, rhythm and blues, something like that. But, you know, in the South, you were allowed to play before the lead guy come on the scene. You were allowed to experiment and play with stuff, you know. So, so those things are, are what kind of give me um, uh, a flow into the art. 